Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and today we are going to get a pro, a double heroic pro of our only feral event card. After this it's all going to be legion cards and we are also going to get a guaranteed draft pool of a guaranteed legion off of the board as well. I've got enough picks to do so. So let's start off with our double heroic Dakota Kai here. They both have their 100 levels, they both have their 100 matches. The variants do not need to be done. You can do the variants later. So let's go ahead and combine and we will see what our double heroic looks like. There we go, I got the screenshot perfect. Oh, the dogs are barking! The Cerberuses have a little animation. Oh, I didn't expect that. That's very, very cool. <laughs> Look at them happy doggos. Oh my goodness, that is fantastic. And apparently once she reaches level 105 and she gets her 100 matches and she gets her variants, she is going to be around about the same level as a Legion Pro, which is very, very cool to hear. And speaking of, let's go into this. Okay, we've got an Inferno JBL and you can see now that the Rarity Pool has now become active. So one of these 25 cards are going to be a brand... Oh, the very first one is a brand new Legion card and it is going to be a Lyra Valkyrie, which is a pro as well, which is amazing. That is very, very cool to see. Let's go ahead and claim a few more of these. We're absolutely locking that down. We've got the the point, the pick doubler there that we do not need because we've already finished. But uh, let's go ahead and lock down this pro Lyra Valkyrie. Uh, we don't need the other ones. Uh, but if we take a look, let's see. There she is. There is the pro. So I need to get her, her 100 levels and her 100 matches. Uh, let's just take a quick look at the females. You can see we've already got a pro legion Maxine Dupree and a pro legion Kyrie Sane and then of course we've got a fortified one of the feral Liv Morgan but I think this Lyra Valkyr will be quite powerful. We've also got our Dakota Kai here and in our form centre we are currently training up our Elia Dragunov so we're going to throw this Lyra Valkyr in here because we want her to be we want to make her into a pro as quickly as possible now let's just go back to trainable and we're going to try and max out uh, Ilya Dragunov before we start in Dakota Kai and then we're going to throw Dakota Kai into the gym workout here as well. Of course you can do it by paying credits but we're not going to pay credits because if we can try and do it for free that is infinitely better. So then we can just use the rest of these here to increase by another four levels. Of course, that's not the image that you normally use for Ilya Dragunov. That is the Halloween card. And we are getting some waiting on network. I really hope they've not went into maintenance while I was in the middle of making a video. That would be very, very rude of them, to say the least. Now, there we go. It fixed itself. Level 69. That is the number that people enjoy. And let's go ahead and finish off the rest of our draft picks here. We've got 24 more. See if we can get... Anything else that's cool in this little video? We've also got 8 energy for TBG. We have a Team Battleground underway, so I'll need to use that energy as well. And let's go ahead, that's going to give him another 3 levels. Puts him up to level 72. He still has 22 hours and 51 minutes left to go. So we only have 12 picks remaining. It's a lot of waiting on network. There is nothing wrong with my internet connection. So this is WE Supercard, that is the issue. So if you're getting waiting on network problems as well, it is not your internet provider. It is the game itself. It can be caused by a few things. Maybe they are trying to update something in the background. Maybe there is a large amount of people that are all using WE Supercard at the same time. Maybe a lot of people are trying to rush to try and finish off the ring domination before the event ends could be any number of things but you can see here there is an awful lot of waiting on network that is happening uh, it says nothing I can do about it this is a supercard problem cat daddy please fix your servers 
Although, if there is too many people that are jumping on Supercard, that isn't a bad thing because that means that we've got a lot of players, maybe even a lot of new players. And if you are a new player, let me know in the comment section down below. There is also, for any new players out there, a ton of tutorial videos on a little tutorial playlist. And if you just want to see WWE Supercard videos, like the one you're watching right now, there's also a playlist for that. In order to find those, all you need to do is click on my grand cat name and then go to playlists and you'll get to see a whole bunch of them. And there we go, that is that taken care of. Let's go ahead and train those. It's going to give them another three levels, bring up to level 76. He still has 18 hours left to go. So I've got a lot of work to do. I need to get my Dakota Kai up to level 105 and get her 100 matches. I need to get this Lyra Valkyrie her 100 matches and get her up to level 100 so that I can pro her. Then once I've got the pro, get that up to level 105 and get that 100 matches. And I'm also training up this Ilya Dragunov. And I'm going to show you very quickly what we're at on campaign mode. So when I defeated the Rey Mysterio, I could still beat all these numbers. You can see there that Rey Mysterio, his stats are 16,000, 18,000, 21, and 20, which are defeatable. You can see here that Rock, he's got fairly good stats. And of course, we can use our supports and our... Well, our support managers and our supports to help out there. We can also use equipment such as such as this sweatband here that gives plus 1580 to power and plus 2370 to power. So getting things like that, make it so that you can get it through Rey Mysterio fairly easily. You can see there we've got more than halfway through the final campaign mode, but the second that you go from Rey Mysterio, from level 56 up to level 57, all of your opponents start getting stats like this. 22,000 in power, 23,000.45 in power, 26,000.96 in speed, and 24,000.83 in charisma. Now, what we have here is a 453 JBL with momentum on him, and his stats are only 19,000, 17,000, 15, and 17. So, beating these numbers is very, very difficult to say the least. What you're going to need is you're going to need probably Legion Pro managers. You're probably going to need the Legion Pro of the singular stats, like the table for the minus power, for instance. You're going to need a full set of Pro Legion Pro cards of this arrow. So they need to be up arrow. So, for example, I could change my rock to an up arrow by using the little up arrow equipment. However, you need it to be up arrow so that you can actually equip stats like these. And even if we do that, JBL's power only becomes 23,420, which is the maximum power that I can give him. And Braun Breaker here has 27,000.54. And although I can use, for example, I could use my table here, which is minus 3,260, their table does minus 3,586. So that means that you need to have a power higher than what theirs is for whatever that is. So that is very, very crazy. And now the ways that we're going to be able to do that is I've got a little bit of a plan. We're going to do Battle Pass. We are very close to getting the Pro LA Knight. That's going to help out a lot, and especially his ability is to give plus power and charisma to the deck. If we put a plus ability equipment on him, that's going to make that even stronger. And then from next week onwards, we're going to start getting Legion Pros. We're going to start getting the double heroics. And once we start getting those, then we should be able to get through the rest of campaign mode eventually. And hopefully get that rock, that final boss at the end, but we're a little bit away from getting anywhere close to this card for the time being. I know that some people have already done it, you can see there that 26 people have already accomplished it. I have no idea how they've accomplished it. The only way I can think of is if they have just went into the store, if they have been buying, not the sports, well maybe the sports actually to try and get these Legion cards, but the equipment 
to get the best equipment, uh, to get the Legion equipment doesn't exist yet, but to get the best Feral equipment, and then spent a whole bunch of credits getting the perfect stats on each one of them, and that's the only way that I could see that someone could realistically try and go for the rock at this point, because at this stage of the campaign, I feel like I've hit a wall. I used a super move to get one star here, and all I'm going to try and do is just use a super move to get through the rest of these stats. Look at this, Braun Breaker, or Braun Strowman, sorry. 27.59 in both power and toughness, which is absolutely crazy. And it looks like the stats aren't getting any weaker than that. So what I'm trying to do is just... Ah, well, lost the ability to speak there. What I'm trying to do is try and collect the super moves so that I can get stars, so that I can at least get this one, and then maybe start trying to use additional super moves to just try and get additional rewards, get more Legion cards, and I'm just basically spinning my wheels until we start getting the event cards, which is going to start with Last Man Standing, which, oh man, Last Man Standing is not a good event. I do not like playing Last Man Standing. Uh, I think Last Man Standing, I'm just going to, I'm probably going to try and play it for free, and I'm just going to go for a very, a very, very low card, like, so long as I can get the top 10,000, I'll be happy with that. I'm not going for the top 100, I've done that in the past, and it, it costs more credits than what I have there currently, so I'm not doing that again. Um, also, it depends on what the card is. The card that I got in the top 104, I think I got 68, uh, was Seth Rollins, and everyone played for that Seth Rollins card. Uh, with some other last man standings, you can get away with getting a higher number with less points, but because this is the first Legion card of Season 11, I guarantee you everyone is going to be playing. So I think even getting into the top 10,000 is going to be in a bit of an achievement. But that is my predictions. Also, we have Team Road to Glory coming up. And our team is going to go all the way through. And we're going to try and get this Tony D'Angelo. Now, I don't know whether we'll be able to do plus fives or plus tens all the way through it. We might have to drop to lower numbers. But Soul World Order will be going for this Tony D'Angelo indeed. We'll obviously get the Bronson Reed and Johnny Gargano and so on and so forth. So if you are looking for a decent team... All you have to do is come into my Discord. You'll find the link to it in the description of this video. And once you get past the bot that makes sure that you haven't been banned and that you are not using a false account, then you can say, hey, I'm a fan of his Grand Cat and I would like to join your team. And someone will give you the opportunity to join Soul World Order 2. And once a space becomes available, and if you do well enough in Soul World Order 2, you will eventually get a shot in the Grand Cat's team himself in Soul World Order 1. You can see, although we are currently still at Feral, we are very much quickly approaching that Legion area. And of course, with the help of people like me and Big Boss Man and Fat Boy, uh, once we start getting those Legion Pros all in, I've got my Legion Pros already in, that's going to help get that up. Once we get to Legion, we are obviously going to start getting the Legion rewards from Team Battleground as well, which of course at the moment we're still in Feral, so we're going to get the Feral rewards, but that will change very, very quickly. And with that said, folks, that is going to be it for this little video, and I really hope you've all enjoyed, and if you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so that you can see when more of these glorious little videos go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.